Well, welcome to the Azure Communication Services video library. My name is Dan Walleen. I'm a cloud developer advocate at Microsoft. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the UI library. Now, this is something I personally find really exciting to work with because if you wanna get something like chat or video calls integrated into your apps, you can do that super quickly with something called composites. Now, we're gonna focus on composites throughout this video, but I'm also gonna mention another aspect of the UI library called components. Now, both of these are part of an open source library and they provide a turnkey solution so that you can add things like chat and video into your web and your mobile apps. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right in and talk about some of the use cases. Well, let's assume that you're building either a web app or a mobile app for iOS or Android. First off, Azure Communication Services and what we're gonna talk about in this video are gonna be applicable for your solution. Now, one thing you can take advantage of is Teams Interrupt. So whether you want standalone calling or standalone chat, or you actually want the video and chat to be integrated with Microsoft Teams, Azure Communication Services would satisfy both of those needs. So when it comes to calling, you can have voice over IP calling and even interrupt with Microsoft Teams as mentioned. Now, the same thing for chat. You could have group chats. You can have Teams interrupt where you can actually chat into Teams meetings. And that really opens up the possibilities. If you're already using Microsoft Teams, then that works out phenomenally well. And if you're not, and you just want standalone calling and standalone chat, that would be an option as well. So you basically get to choose what works best for your solution. So the main scenarios we're gonna talk about in this video then are calling and chat, but what are some of the UI library features that we might have? Well, first off, there's a lot of functionality provided out of the box. There's customization. You can customize the UI library components so they match your branding, and that would include things like colors and fonts and icons. Accessibility is supported out of the box, and that way you have support for things like a narrator, keyboard navigation, and color contrast. Localization, of course, is very important for our applications, and that's built in with multiple language support out of the box. And then we also have responsiveness. That's something as a developer we often have to battle a little bit, but this is something that's built in so that in different aspect ratios for phones or tablets or desktop, the components and composites we're gonna talk about are gonna render appropriately. And then finally, there's fast feature adoption. The UI library is continually updated with new and exciting features from Azure Communication Services, and you can adopt those just by updating your libraries that you're using. Now, here's a quick look at what I mean by composites, and this is gonna be the focus of this particular video. Composites are a turnkey UI solution to add end-to-end -end calling and chat experiences into your apps. And as mentioned earlier, this is available for mobile, iOS and Android, as well as your web apps. So here'd be an example of what a web app might look like. You'll notice at the bottom, we have multiple people involved in a call. Some of them are actually sharing their video. We're sharing desktop. And then over to the right, you can see that we actually have a chat area. Now on the mobile side, we can do the same thing. Here would be an example of what that would look like. You'll notice we have a tile layout and it's responsive as mentioned earlier, so that now everything renders as you would expect with the different aspect ratios available on phones and on tablets. In addition to composites, the UI library also has UI components. These are composable controls to build calling and chat experiences, and they're available for web applications. Here's an example of a video gallery component, or if you'd like to work with chat, you can use a message thread combined with a send box. We also have a participant list. You can have individual video tiles, and then you can have things like a control bar for muting, showing and hiding video, sharing desktop, and more. And then you can even have an error bar to display different messages to your end users. Now, moving forward, I'll be focusing on composites. And the first thing I'm gonna do is show you a web-based demo that you can get to right away. Let's jump right in. One of the easiest ways to get started using the Azure Communication Services UI library is to go to aka.ms slash ACS Storybook. This will get you right into some online documentation and live demos that you can run right here in the browser. 
Now, the first thing you'll notice is that we can read more about the UI library, how to get it installed and get started with it. But I want to point out that we have a section for composites, which I'm going to focus on momentarily. And then we have a section for the UI components or the building blocks if you want to compose your own solution. Now, what we're going to do here is talk about composites again. So if I click on getting started, you'll notice that it breaks this down into some choices you have. You could do UI components, or you can do the composite components. So the one I'm gonna focus on is the call with chat composite. And if we click on this, we can go to a basic example. Now, scrolling on down, you'll notice that it has some code for us. This happens to be a React app. And you'll notice that right off the bat, if we scroll on down, it's pretty easy to get started with. We have a call with chat composite, and then we have to give it some various properties, such as an adapter and a theme and some different options. Now, those are all defined up here. Now, while I'm not going to spend the time going through this particular code, I do want to show you a preview of what you can do. So I'm going to come up to the preview tab and you'll notice that it wants me to supply an access token, user ID, endpoint URL and display name. Now we talked about an access token and user ID in a previous video on the Azure Communication Services portal and how you can set up that ACS resource to get all of this started. So check out that other video if you'd like more details. What I'm gonna do is just plug these values in to the values that we see down here. So we have a valid token for user, user identifier, and we need an Azure Communication Services endpoint URL. So let me go ahead and add these values from my Azure portal setup. Now, normally you'll be prompted to give access to your camera and your microphone here. I've already done that before with this setup, so I wasn't prompted, but make sure that you accept that so that you can then pick your camera and your microphone. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pick a camera here, which is my webcam. I'll go ahead and do the same for my microphone, but notice everything is turned off right now. You're probably used to this with some of the video conferencing software you use but I could go ahead and unmute if I'd like. I can even turn on my camera. Go ahead and wave to the camera here. Um, we'll turn that back off. But now I can go ahead and start a call. And from here, I am now in the call. I'm obviously not on on camera, but we can fix that. And then I can also mute and do all those types of things. I could present, but if I come on over here, I can go to chat and I could say, welcome to the meeting or whatever we're doing. And then if we had other people in this meeting, they can of course respond. So we now have a group chat set up and we have audio video capabilities all through this call with chat composite. So you can get this up and running very, very quickly and then use this to actually create your own Azure communication services set up for whatever solution you need at work. Well, thanks for joining me for this Azure Communication Services video on the UI library. As a quick review, we saw that composites provide a great way to get started adding things like chat and video into your web and mobile apps. Now there's a lot more you can do though, so check out the link that you see here on your screen and stay tuned for additional videos that come out in this series. Thanks again.